Hey, man, how's the food? It's bloody marvelous. Never had noodles like this before. As long as the noodles keep coming, I ain't budging. Those pesky bulldozers are just gonna have to run me over. Oh, wow. Sankara Town is just the way I remember it. And it still smells delicious. Hi, mister. My mommy makes the best juice in Sankara Town. You wanna try some? You look friendly. You can have a glass for free if you want. Sweetie, I told you. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. I think everyone who's friendly should have free juice. <laughs> ah. Did you like it? Mmm, this is delicious. Yeah, Mommy makes the best juice, doesn't she? She's an amazing woman. <laughs> she sure is. Thank you. You want more? Listen, sweetie, we can't just give away free juice to everyone who's nice to us. Why not? Because of the eviction, sweetie. We're about to get thrown out on the street. We need the money, sweetie. I don't care about money. I care about friendliness. You're friendly, aren't you, mister? Sweetie! My mommy doesn't have a boyfriend. I think she likes you. Sweetie, please! I wish I had some money so I could pay them for the juice. Sounds like they really need it. Nice grove, man! Demolish Sankara Town, man! You loco, man! Sir, back away from the perimeter. You back away, man! I'm not afraid of you, man! Come here, man! I'll give you a piece of this! <laughs> this is Gamma Squadron requesting permission to open fire. Yeah, yeah, that's right, man! You call mama! You cry to mama, you big chicken! Sir, there's a small, dog-like man disturbing the barricades. Hey, who are you calling dog-like, Mr. Poodleface? No, no, he's not causing any damage. Oh, you want to see damage, man? You asked for it. <sighs> yes, sir. Understood. Black belt, man. Back off or I'm going to bring the pain, man. Hey, <laughs> 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 the mallet. What a ride. As you can see, there is a lot of commotion here in Sankara Town right now. Let's get a word from one of the protesters here at the barricades. Excuse me, sir. What exactly are you demanding from the government? We demand free cheese for everyone! Wait, what? Are you sure? Never been more certain in all my life. But that's not... Hey, is, is this live? Yes, this is ANN8, live at 11. Oh, cool! Oh, can I say hi to my friend? No, I... Hey, what's he? Tito! Everyone! I'm on TV! And cut. <sighs> Great choice, Gabby. You had to pick a complete dimwit to interview, didn't you? Hey, it ain't my fault this assignment is complete bogus. It's not like we're reporting anything that even resembles the truth anyways. Let's take a five minute break and then do the last segment. <sighs> All right. Hello, Mr. Cameraman. Beat it, I'm trying to work here. Nice guy. Mm, hey, tell me about it. Hey, can I be on TV again? Fun to be on camera, isn't it? Sorry, man, segment's over. We're on our break now. My name is Gabby. Who are you? I'm Buana. Cool. So what's up, Buana? You know Professor Moorhead? Moorhead? The Underland expert? <laughs> you mean the conspiracy nut, right? Yeah, that's him. Can you help me find him? <laughs> no dice. The professor disappeared like two weeks back. We did a segment on that. No big news. Why'd you ask? I have to bring him this. Hey, that's microfilm. Just like our camera. What's on it? It's got top secret data about the power company's plan to destroy St. Armando. 
Oh yeah, secret project to destroy Saint Armando. Ooh, yeah, sure, right. Yeah, I wasn't talking to you, meat stick. Gabby, you can't be taking this fume head seriously. You kidding? This could be the scoop I've been waiting for, man. Let's ditch this farce of an assignment and go make some real news. Listen, Gabby, you're not making real news because you're not a real journalist. What the hell are you talking about, man? Your job is to look pretty in front of the camera and say what the network wants you to say. Stick to what you know, okay? Hell no, that ain't okay. That bullshit is over, man. This could be my breakthrough. I'm out of here. No, you aren't, Gabby. We're partners, and we're in this crap together, all right? You bail on me, and I'll have them revoke your license so hard, you'll never stand in front of a camera again. After we wrap this last bit of shooting, you can go interview a unicorn so far as I care, but as long as I'm still on this assignment, so are you. <sighs> Sorry about Mr. Lapdog here. Looks like I'm stuck as long as he's still on the job. Aw, oh, man. Testing, testing, one, two, one, two. Hey, stop talking into the mic, will ya? Trying to get a clean audio feed here. Can you speak up, please? I can't hear you! <laughs> <laughs> hey, you gotta be quiet, all right? Get too loud and the damn mic is gonna break. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> Beats me, man. Must have been one of those noisy protesters. <laughs> oh hell. That loud noise blew my microphone. Ugh. Looks like we're gonna have to call this a wrap after all. <laughs> right on, Barna. Now, let's go check out that microfilm. Right this way. Hey, Wasi. I brought a friend. Hey, it's that reporter from the news! Freeze! Whoa, easy now, cowboy. I'm just doing my job here. Your job? <laughs> you mean spreading government propaganda? Y'all telling lies to keep us all down. And now you're gonna spread lies about the resistance rockers? Resistance rockers? Listen, Colonel Crackpot, I couldn't care less about you and your lame-ass garage band. I'm here for a bigger story. Ooh, now you better watch your mouth, girl. Yeah, this ain't no little garage band. It's a rock and roll revolution, man. Our music's gonna change the world. Change the world with rock and roll, huh? That's hilarious. Mm, I'm glad we brought the camera. You guys would fit right in on Comedy Hour. Hey, Sarge, let me put a couple of bullets in her. See how funny she thinks that is. Don't waste your ammo. She ain't worth it. Hunter, what kind of nut jobs are you hanging out with, man? Just rig the video so I can get out of here. I should connect this to the TVs. Okay, I've connected the camera to the TV. The video cut. Nice speaker that you can make. That ain't nothing. Hear me, citizens of Saint Armando. For a brighter future, we must sacrifice now. Obey and be rewarded. Disobey and be punished. Well, she seems nice. Guys, look here! Whoa. Man, that's some serious business right there. See? We got to work together or they're gonna burn this city to the ground. This is... This is exactly what Professor Moorhead was talking about. I thought he was a complete lunatic. The network made me cut his theories from the story. It all sounded crazy. I had no idea. Told you, fool. You're a tool of the government. Ain't got no backbone to stand up for the truth. All right, that's it. I'm out of here. Damn straight you're out of here. Gabby, wait! Yeah, go on back to your network execs and tell them we don't want no part of their lives. The revolution will not be televised, sister! Man, whoa!
What a bonehead. Where did you find that guy? Ha, I know he can be kind of maxed out sometimes. Yeah, to say the least. Worst thing is, he's right. Huh? The network is censoring all of our news stories. Every single word broadcast over the Armando News Network is controlled by the people above. I've had enough of spreading this bullshit propaganda. Get in the car. I need to show you something. All right, we're here. This is Agibo University, where the professor used to work. If you're serious about finding him, this should be a good place to start looking. I'm gonna get down and dirty with some real journalism, and for once, the network can't stop me. I'm going rogue. Ha, that's the spirit, Gabby. We're gonna blow this story wide open, Juana. You have my word. So this is the university where Professor Moorhead works. I wonder if he's hiding in there somewhere. Oh man, it's locked! Anyone down there? Cool, a frog! Come here, froggy, froggy! <laughs> oh, nobody told me frogs could bite! This must be where the university store all their old junk. Oh, these boxes are full of magnets. I'm sure they won't mind if I borrow one. I wonder what these machines do. Aha! I bet this is where all the recorded surveillance footage is stored. of interest here. Hmm, looks like these boxes are full of old university paperwork. I doubt Professor Moorhead is hiding in there. Yep, this has got to be Lena and Moorhead's office. Hey, it's Lena! And that must be Professor Moorhead. This must be from one of the expeditions together. It's an old article from the Armando Daily. The Key of Elders. Hmm. Hey, what's this? This must be Moorhead's secret underland research.
<laughs> Me and Kito used to have a lot of fun with these copy machines back when we were kids. But then my, uh, behind got way too much attention. So they sort of banned us from the print shop. Oh man, it's out of paper. Wow, they really busted this computer up good when they raided the place. Looks like the clock stopped when it fell down on the floor. It's stuck at 6.42. It's a letter that says, Esteemed Professor Moorhead, we have yet to receive your report regarding the incident at your office. University policy requires a report to be filled within a period of two days, and it has now gone exactly one week since the break-in. This is not acceptable. P.S. Your cheese sandwiches in the refrigerator are getting moldy again. The day the university gets rid of your whimsical ideas and your moldy cheese will be a day to celebrate indeed. Yours truly, Harold Porcupine. Headmaster, Agibo University. It's dated 22nd of March. I should... See them breaking into the office. I'd better make a printout. It's a picture of those guys who broke into the university. I wonder if maybe someone could help me identify them. Sarge, what do you make of all this? I don't know, Bombshell. Situation's looking real grim. They're cooking up some pretty nasty stuff behind the barricades, that's for sure. As much as I hate to admit it, maybe that reporter's right after all. Maybe rock and roll ain't enough to save St. Armando. Yeah, it's about time we added some explosiveness to our act. Put the pyrotechnics to some real good use, know what I mean? I hear you, sister. There's no chance in hell we can just shoot our way through the barricades. We gonna need a better plan to stop Marobo and the power company. <laughs> kind of funny, ain't it? What? Now all of a sudden you start listening to the mainstream press. You in love, Sarge? Ha ha, very funny. You recognize these guys? Yeah, that's the Bosey brothers. Ooh, those are some real tough guys. Cold-hearted crooks, working from down on 42nd Street near the downtown subway station. Yeah, but you better stay away from those guys. You mess with them, you're bound to get hurt. I have to find them. They're my only lead to finding Professor Moorhead. Well, I wish you luck, man. This Moorhead guy might just be the key to finding the weak spot in the wicked plans of the power company. This could be the magic bullet the revolution has been waiting for, Buona. All right. Time to head downtown. Whoa, that's one huge truck. That's the Resistance Rockers tour truck, brother. Also known as the Revolutionary Bandwagon. Revolutionary what? Oh, I'm telling you, Buana, you need a big-ass ride with big-ass speakers if you want to get a revolution started. Feel me? Only way to get our brothers and sisters to listen up. Sure, man. But the truck broke down during our last tour. I'm afraid that old truck is game over. Nah, he just needs a little tinkering, mon. Kito, what are you doing there? What's it look like? I'm fixing the truck, of course. <laughs> what you up to, Vana? I'm going to see if I can find Professor Moorhead so I can give him the microfilm. 
Lena's counting on us, man. And she can always count on Buana's charters, right? Of course, man. <laughs> nice. Cool, you do catch a little. Hey, kid. Hey, as I met my... Nice. I miss her. She's doing... Open up a... Oh, that... Cool, it's a jackhammer! Oh yeah, who's slamming it? Come on, Isabel, you got this! Only 10,000 points to go and the high score is ours again! Almost got it! Almost got it! Oh, oh man, I swear this game is rigged. Give me another quarter, Saskia. This time I'll definitely nail it. Sorry, Isabel. That was our last one. Oh man. Whoa! Are you guys playing Super Metal Commando? Well, we were playing it, but that damn last level keeps eating our quarters. Ah, the Metal Moon Base, right? Right. Space turns keep busting my shields. Yeah, I remember those. That used to be mine and Kito's favorite game when we were kids. Hey, this ain't no kid's business, all right? We're reclaiming our turf. You playing with the crew? You with the laser punks? Because this here is cheetah territory. So you better back off or we're gonna dice you, man. Hey, cool it, ladies. I'm no laser punk. Good, because the only good laser punk is a game over laser punk. If you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Good one, Saskia. You ladies heard of the Bozy brothers? Sorry, man. Never heard of them. They a crew? I don't think so, no. Now, how about a professor named Moorhead? <laughs> Step off, man. You think we're some kind of hosers or something? We don't hang out with no schoolboys. Yeah, cheetahs don't mingle with academics, I. Right? <laughs> you guys too cool for school, huh? You slammed it, man. If the streets can't teach it to you, you ain't gonna learn it. Word. All right, ladies, stay hot. See you around, dude. Aha, this must be the place. Well, hello, handsome. Hi, lady. Lady? Well, aren't you a true gentleman? I'm Rose. Pleased to meet you, sugar. You can call me Buana. Well, why don't you come a little closer, Buana? That's right. Make yourself comfortable, sugar. Gets awfully lonely when my phone isn't ringing. Slow business today. I'm looking for the Borzy brothers. Oh, those hoodlums. You've come to the right place if you're after those fellas. They're up on 65. But you better stay away from them, darling. They're real bad boys. Someone ought to teach them a lesson and give them a spanking. A good, proper spanking. That's what I'd like to give naughty, naughty bad boys like them. Have you been a bad boy? Eh, uh, no. Nope, definitely not. Oh, that's a shame. Gotcha later, lady. Oh, do swing by again, honey. And if ever you should feel the sad veil of loneliness overcome you, remember, adult friendship counseling can save your life. This is Rose speaking. Well, what a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Orville. 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 Such a sensual name. In bed? Yes. Oh, yes, I am. On sheets of silk. <laughs> I can see why this place is condemned. It's falling apart from the insides. This is definitely the kind of place I'd expect to find the Bozy Brothers. Ooh, free gas! You never pass up free gas! Oh man, it's empty! 
It says, Notice of eviction. By order of the St. Armando City Council, all tenants to vacate the Tannhauser building at Kitumbani Avenue without delay. For complaints, file form 244564D at City Hall. Why do I get the feeling that no one is going to be reading those complaints? Hmm, I think I hear voices inside. Hey, Bosey, how long we gotta be stuck in this joint anyways? The building's about to get wrecked, you know. We gotta stay here because the boss says to guard the professor, all right? Gotta keep four eyes here out of trouble, see? Well, uh, how about we just cap the professor and beat it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you cap the professor, you explain that to the boss, okay? They've got Professor Moorhead! I gotta find a way to save him! This jackhammer means some serious business, man. I gotta find some gas so I... It won't start without quarters. Oi! You two! Flippin' pig from the power company. Just ignore him, Saskia. Hey! You two with the funny hair! I'm talking to you, you muppets! Funny hair, huh? What do you want, Baldy? This 42nd Street! So what if it is? Got an order to prepare the block for blackout! Prepping for the barricade! Is. This. It, you moron! Why don't you go shut down your own block, Baldy? Hide <laughs> on, Isabel! <laughs> oh, a lot of help you are, you bloody street trash! See how funny you think it is when I get the order and I shut down your little playhouse there! Bloody low laughs, you make me sick! <laughs> Buzz off, Baldy. <sighs> Oi! Get the bloody hell away from my truck! I don't want your stinky, filthy, greasy palms mucking up all over my paint job. Alright? Hey, relax, man! Come any closer, I'm gonna hit you through till next Tuesday, mate! I can't believe this bloody neighborhood. Now all it needs is a little push. Okay, hold on tight, mister. <laughs> nice! All right, let's fill her up. There. Still no Super Metal Commando game, huh? Not until we get a hold of some more quarters, no. I can't get the quarters out with a magnet. Believe me, I tried. I don't need a hunk on that. Whoa, dude, take it easy with that. Yeah, seriously, man, take a chill pill. After all these years, I'm finally going to get to show this game who is the boss. Hey, step off, man. What you doing? Radical! Ha-ha! <laughs> Who's the Super Metal Commando now, huh? Awesome, man. That's some mad wizardry, dude. Yeah, thanks, man. Now get bent so we can beat these laser punks once and for all. Ha-ha! <laughs> we got him by the balls now, Isabel. Never know when some quarters might come in handy. Oh, 
dead. <laughs> yeah, I bet you got quite the hangover from that party, sugar. What happened? Well, somebody, not pointing any fingers here, made havoc with the laundromat. Oh. <laughs> you should have seen those poor hoodlums running for their lives, yelling for their mommies. Oh, it was a sight to behold. Hello, Professor. <laughs> One is here to the rescue. Oh. Uh, thank you, young man. Listen, Professor, I brought you some very important data. The Underland and St. Armando are in some serious danger, man. Well, if it isn't my favorite politician, Mayor Moreau. What gives me the pleasure of your beautiful smile? This is no pleasure, Paul, I assure you. If you don't start delivering on your promises soon, this pact of ours is going to cost me the election. What is your status? All is going according to plan. We have recently acquired the information needed to activate the source. Keep the people at bay, Mayor. Your power is coming. Chairman. St. Armando is about to catch fire, and we need doors. I'll personally see to it that you're the one who burns first. Deliver the power now, or I'll pull the plug on this whole operation. Oh, believe me, Mayor, the power is come, and it will be so much more than you ever dreamed of. Oh dear. According to these plans, we only have a few hours before they channel the Underforce into the Thermoplasmic Accelerator. What the hell does that mean? He's saying the power company's gonna turn the entire city into a bowl of smoked beef jerky by the night. Unless we stop them, yes. And how exactly are we gonna do that? Well, with plastic explosives, of course. If only we had some. No sweat for us. The resistant rockers got the full arsenal. Excellent. I just need some sort of remote detonator. Something that can broadcast a trigger signal to the explosives. All right, let me see what I can find. If we all work together, we can do this. Now, we are going to need someone who can help us infiltrate the power company's skyscraper. Hell, I say we just drive right in and kick the door wide open. No need to infiltrate. You try that and your sorry ass is gonna be blown to Neverland right where it belongs, fool. Hey, what the hell are you doing here? I'm infiltrating, bonehead. Well, why don't you go infiltrate somewhere else, huh? Listen, I've got the intel required to get us inside the power company building. Hey guys, one is right. We gotta work together on this. The big question is, how are we gonna get through the barricades? Don't worry about that, sister. Barricades are gonna be a piece of cake for our propaganda truck. Hey, Quito, what's your status? <laughs> it's looking pretty good, but I'm gonna need some help over here, Moon. I'll be right there, buddy. Well then, sounds like we have a plan. Excellent. Now, Gabby. Show us what you got. Thank you. 